Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and it's me, Adil KK. Today we are going to build a stereo camera based depth estimation system uh, from scratch using OpenCV Lab. Majorly we will be using two Raspberry Pi V2 camera for the stereo camera setup and uh, NVIDIA uh, Jetson Nano B01 development board for uh, or maybe as a master class in your so the entire task is divided into uh, five steps. The first one is setting up the hardware, which include building the um, stereo camera and also setting up the Jetson Nano development board. Second one is installing the required packages uh, and also setting up the Python environment for our software part. Third one is camera calibration process, um, which is also done with OpenCV. And uh, fourth one is uh, depth estimation. That's also done with OpenCV. And fifth one is uh, the visualization part. Uh, the depth map, which is obtained in the previous step, will be visualized using Open3D library. To begin with the first step itself, okay, setting up the hardware. Let's see the required hardware. NVIDIA Jetson Nano B01 development board, a micro SD card, two Raspberry Pi V2 cameras, 5 volt 4 ampere power supply, a 5 volt PWM cooling fan, and two CSI extension cable if it is required. Next step is building the stereo camera. For this, we need to mount the two cameras on a rigid base. Here, the base is designed in a, a blender and printed using a 3D printer. Here, I am not going to explain the complete designing process because it is not relevant for this video. But uh, I will be providing the STL file in the repo which you can use to um, 3D print the part from your side. This is the final printed base and the camera mounted on them and finally we applied some hot glue in order to avoid any further camera mount. Now let us assemble them. Here the Jetson Nano OS is already installed on this SD card and if you want to know how to do it. Uh, there's a separate video I did uh, and you can check my channel for that. Now power up the module and log into your Jetson Nano development board. So later we need to install the required software and those part will be explained in the next video. And thanks for watching.